Well guys, this is pretty weird. I uh, came home today and saw this scully, which is usually down here, right behind these other two. I uh, moved it up here so I could get a better look at it. When I got home, I noticed the shape was kind of off. You guys can see uh, in the middle there, it looks kind of weird now, the mouth is all stretched out. Um, it's got the shape of a hermit shell crab. So I started thinking maybe a hermit fell from that area down there into the mouth, maybe last night when you know it was completely open with the feeders out and everything. And uh, I haven't looked at the tank at all until I got home today about seven o'clock. And like I said, I just noticed that the scully didn't quite look right. So I moved it up here and uh, I could kind of see a little opening there in the mouth where I thought I could see a little bit of the shell. So when I got it up here, I started moving it around a little bit. I think whatever I did got the hermit moving, because I don't know if the hermit was alive or dead. Uh, I think it started moving there a little bit, and then I noticed you can see kind of uh, up into the left of the main hole for the mouth, there's a second hole there that's not supposed to be there. So um, I think at this point, the hermit has done some pretty significant, oh, so yeah, the snowflake. I think the hermit has done some pretty significant damage to the scully. Um, I've seen scullies recover from tissue damage, you know, on the outside, especially if it's on the outer rim. Usually, the further it is from the mouth, the better chance they have to recover. But even scully, I mean, scullies especially, usually, if they are going to recover, it takes forever. Um, this is a situation I haven't seen before. I don't know if anybody else out there has uh, seen anything like this. If you have, definitely chime in in the comments, but I've never seen this before. I would imagine this guy, unfortunately, is probably not gonna make it. Um, I tried holding it upside down for a couple of minutes, thinking that may trigger something to open it up. Um, I'm hoping that my only chance is maybe it'll try to open up like normal tonight uh, and like it does normally every night, you know, put the feeders out and the mouth completely opens up, which it ha I'm thinking it had to be that way for the hermit to even be able to get in there in the first place. Um, so I'm thinking that maybe if it does that tonight, maybe I can get in there with the uh, tongs and pull it out. But like I said, I'm not too optimistic about uh, the recovery likeliness of this piece right here so definitely a bummer um but yeah definitely chime in in the comments if you guys have ever seen anything like this or if you guys have any other weird stories about inverts coming into contact with corals and unique ways like this or whatever the case may be but uh yeah definitely 